Now you guys will be clicking on this video wondering how to get better and improve at My Hero Arch Rumble. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys three main things I do use to actually avoid fights, win fights, get in and out of fights, and also much more. So in these three tips and three ways we're going to tell you in today's video is how you can actually improve and also be better at My Hero Arch Rumble if you just remember these steps. Starting off at step one. Stop playing like a dumbass. There's so many situations that I actually watch y'all do. Like, even if, like, some of y'all play with me or not. Like, you know, I'm not gonna bash you for it. Because it's just, like, anybody can improve. Anybody can be bad. It doesn't matter about the skill level to me if you want to play with me. But the thing is, y'all be, like, a 50 HP rushing in on the entire team before you even get heals. And then the other thing is, bad decision making. So this is all still in step one, right? Well, you could basically call it four steps. So basically, think of this as the second step, right? I'll explain more of the first one. But basically... The second step, bad decision making. So if you're low and it's like a 1v3, okay, you gotta have health to fight that team, right? And you also gotta manage your, and you gotta manage damage while you're getting healed, right? So one, picking up cards is definitely gonna be one of your best friends. Now let me explain what I mean by basically picking up cards is gonna be your best friends. So Save example, right? I'm using Dinky. This, this is also gonna be like one of the rules later on in the video. Like one of the steps is gonna tell you how to use the character. But basically, right? So I'm playing Dinky. Now you have to know your character. So basically Dinky, he doesn't have much speed right i mean you could just use his two y moves to get distance but do you really want to waste that even though like they could just catch it to you while running like they could literally just do this and just keep on jumping and just like see where you at and just like like target you and everything like toggle lock and they will just like find where you at where they will just like keep chasing you dinky does not have the speed for that wait no wait so basically y'all want to pick up some speed cards for dinky or even some defense cards to reduce the um amount of damage you take now say for example right i picked up speed cards boom picking up mass speed cards i got nine right now right so they're chasing me not only do i gotta keep rolling and everything to get away from the fight but since it's dinky place some traps behind you bro do it like dobby so basically do this they chasing you okay place one under you like place one right under your foot bro so basically know your character and know how to avoid fights so basically the skill card is going to be like your best friend when you're using certain characters like maybe cementos dinky and dobby stuff like that look at this right so they're chasing me up here i keep doing this say if it's like a high flyer type character like or rock or rock go. They flying on top of me. Boom. Hit me for a lot of damage. Okay. That's simple, right? Go up here. Walk up here. And then boom. You, you just escape. Look. They thought that you went all the way up there. But you really just ran down here. And on top of that, you can go more up here as well. You could do this. You could do this. Like, come on. You, it's, it's a lot of ways you can escape fights, bro. I just don't be thinking. And when it really comes down to it, man. You got to make sure you got to manage your stuff too. Like, say for example, right? I have full shield right now. But since I actually don't have 125, they could just crack my shield off of two moves, right? So say my shield is already cracked like just imagine like my shield is not here right it's just not here so basically while i'm running away with the character that has no movement i'm gonna actually try to juke them see if they're right here right and they see me i'm running away and stuff like that they get pushed by a different team or something like that i'm gonna quickly hide somewhere right this is one thing about it people never expect you to hide right near them right because they don't expect it if i'm chasing somebody and they're up there i'm like okay he's gonna jump off because he keeps running but boom i'm running i'm running right i'm chasing them he could be right here hiding he could just be right here so while y'all all the way over here and he just over here he could just be like standing i'm saying he could just be hiding right in the corner and that's why skill cards come in clutch too because you know i'm saying you can have more defense more attack damage more you know i'm saying more like level up and stuff more uh speed so yeah basically skill cards gonna be really clutch also make sure what you're doing with the character it really all depends on how you play with a certain character to be honest with you but going back into step one so step one yes know your damn character y'all okay so listen right know your character please okay i'm gonna switch my characters to show y'all right so i'm changing my character um either or or Raka, right or Raka, level nine okay bad right so i'm low as hell i'm cracked that means i'm gonna use my if i don't have my special action which you should have it because you shouldn't use it unless you're chasing down the last person of somebody's team or you're like you know what i'm saying you just got the confidence to run away using like everything you got so basically all rocker right you want to pop this even if you don't have it, it's okay but like i said in my stream one day when you use the all rocker move kick with it you know why because it gives you a boost right look i'm gonna go on top of here and i'm gonna kick so look and then square kick it gives me more of a boost so instead of just doing this like oh boom and then boom and then boom look at that we're gonna run now dumbass we're we gonna run now huh huh you know you're not gonna run anywhere bro so that's why you gotta that's what 
So that's why you gotta maintain what you're gonna use with your kit, bro. No matter what character it is. I can do the same thing for all rocker. Okay, let's go to a character that's way slower, right? So let's go to somebody like Kendo, for example, right? So let me just save this. Let me go to Kendo. So Kendo is running away from me, right? She's running away. She she's running and stuff. While you're running, if you have an A move that like, you know what I'm saying, can shoot a projectile like Dabi, Deku, Bakugo, Todoroki, All Might, Mount Lady, Kendo, anybody like that. Yeah, most characters have like a projectile, or, like even an AP blast or like a shot. Or something they shoot so while you're running you could do this to stun and so they, it's gonna stun them right when you hit somebody it's gonna stun them it's gonna stop them from moving so keep on running stun keep on running stun keep on running stun and you can also do it like this too since you got like a shoot and everything but it mostly just depends on your character like this is like running strategics right this is like running this is like as if you're running away so i'm gonna show y'all how to probably like get in with your character if like you need like more damage you know they're low and stuff like that so if you're using kendo right one thing about kendo is that she has no movement, right? If you have a movement card, I mean, this is probably, like, only the character that has, like, a crazy move. Wait, hold on. Is this the right thing? Oh, let me see. Uh, let me, wait. Okay, that's the right thing. Okay, best. So, listen. Kendo, right? I'm gonna show y'all right now. So, she has a crazy movement thing. Look, I'm going across the map like this just by using Kendo. And this is just a movement thing, by the way. It just, like, it goes for every character, but just some characters it doesn't work with. So, it actually doesn't go with every character. But basically, if you're, like, chasing somebody with Kendo, y'all can use this tech right here. Shout out to the person that made this. Also, shout out to Ruzi and also, uh, Meta. Me I forgot his name, Meta something. But maybe I'll leave, maybe I'll leave their links in the description down below. But yeah, if you want to chase somebody with Kendo specifically, you could use it like this. You could jump. You could, you know what I'm saying? You could chase them down. Say if they right here, right? Okay, they're running. It's all rocker, so she's running fast so she keep one over here she wastes all her things now she's over here and then she used her last one now she's over here right so basically i'm gonna use that all the way until i see the oil rocker and as soon as i come down i'm a boom i'm a boom i'm a boom you know what i'm saying i'm a Boom, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Rock is dead. You know, you could chase somebody down. When you chase somebody down, don't run to him in a straight line. So, say if she's running right in front of me, right? I'm not going to run, like, in a straight line. Save example for this Bakio right here. I'm not going to run in a straight line. This goes for every character, too. Don't run in a exact straight line. Make sure you kind of, like, go to the edge or, like, go to the side to see where they're looking at, right? Because if you keep running in a straight line, they're just going to look behind you and just keep running. Or they're going to look behind you and, like, maybe attack you more. But listen, if this Bakio was running all the way across the map, I, he can't see my name right so i'm gonna be like crouching i'm gonna hide in bushes and then boom he geek like okay i don't see her no more maybe she stopped following me but nah that's when you get the jump on him so boom and then boom and then boom you know what i'm saying so it all depends on how you play this is still in step one i'm just putting like extra stuff to it to make like you know what i'm saying the guide more longer but yeah know your character bro if your character has movement utilize the movement if she has no mute if she has no or he has no movement then utilize it as well because that means the character most likely gonna have a bigger damage output like in though she has no movement but look at the damage Boom, that that's great damage. You know, she has no movement, but look at the defense. She has great defense. And on top of that, she's a assault class. She has like 600 health. So yeah, step one and step two is basically know your character and also utilize the skill cards. Now, going into this last step right here. Now, this is kind of going to be like er everywhere, like all over the place. So I'm going to need y'all to follow up. So basically, right? This is how to engage and not engage in a fight, how to escape a fight, how to like put more damage, how to solo teams and etc. This is going to be everything. So let's just say, let's just call this step uh, pain, right? Let's just call it a step pain. So let's call it a pain. Okay, so listen, right? There's Zuka Mo Okay, how do I get them to fight me actually? Hold up. Okay, so I'm going to get all of them to attack me right now, right? Like they're all coming towards me. They're attacking me. Bakugo is coming towards me as well, you know what I'm saying? So what if the Bakugo, right? He's on somebody's team. He's chasing me, right? So the Bakugo is chasing me. Boom. Look at this. He cracked my shield, right? Look at this. Well, crack my shield. Come on, please. Okay, you used it. Okay, can you, can you crack me? Please? Okay, okay, that's basically crack shield. Whatever. So basically, right? He cracks my shield. And I'm running away from him because there's like three people on a team, right? So while you're running away, don't utilize everything that you have just to run away. Because then when you get into a fight, you're going to be lost. So basically, right? I run away like this. He don't see me. I'm healing up, right? That's one thing you want to do. When you run away, you know, everybody know how to simply run away, right? That's just like the simply, that's a simple way to run away. Just, you know, use your abilities, hide in the corner and heal. But the thing about it is that some people chase you and then other people people actually like can steal your quirk like toes so then they switch to your character and know where you at so another thing about this is that if you're trying to get in and out of a fight just go in simply whatever character moves that you have say you like this right okay bakugo is right there i'm low now bakugo is low too but i'm not to engage and engage right so i'm not to engage and out gauge so bakugo is low but also the deku right here he can also shoot look at this right he can also shoot me so they're all shooting at me right now and i'm just standing still you know they're all shooting at me and i'm very weak so basically i'm gonna use this i'm gonna come back i'm gonna like you know what i'm saying i'm gonna engage a little bit okay and then he killed me so 
Okay, so that's actually one thing y'all don't want to do. Y'all say my health was low, but I kept on going in. Why would I do that, right? I'm stupid, right? Exactly. So don't do that. But basically, right, if you're you have only like you know a certain amount of health, and then boom, you're fighting people. You do it like this, you know, you put a lot of damage in, right? But at the same time, those characters have not only like more health which you stacked on, but they, it's two different quirks. So you gotta worry about two different quirks that they're, like you're going against. So if it's a two v one or a three v one, you gotta worry about two to three more quirks as usual. So it's not just like oh you're in a one v one, you can hide right here because they also got to heal no not only is somebody in front of you healing up because you just hit them hard but somebody at the left like bakyo can shoot at you somebody from the right like Deku can shoot at you they can all shoot at you like that so if you're low i'll say just mostly heal up but if you're like if you just if you like need to put in damage then basically go over here right so you need actually let me let me heal up so basically it's a 3v1 they're all moving towards me to attack me i see the oraka i see the bakyo i see the deku so what i want to do is basically right so they're all low i don't know they're low though say for example you don't know they're low so basically right okay i got one down that's the that's the baki go let me just you know what i'm saying eliminate him out of here that's also another thing if y'all 3v1 in make sure to end the first person you knock i mean if you have enough health for it like like me say for example right me i have a lot of health for it right i have a lot of health for it so they're all attacking me or look at this they're all jumping me and stuff like this right so i'm gonna go i'm gonna you know what i'm saying just basically put in a lot of damage right here and then boom, I dodged her stuff. I dodged, look, I knocked him. I'm gonna put in a lot of damage. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Now look what I told y'all before, right? Pop the special action, do this, and then you knee. And then you do this again, and then you knee. And then you do this again, and then, you know what I'm saying, you knee. You can go on top here, you can do that, you can knee. Look at that, look how far you just got using three moves, bro. Three moves plus like all your other movement. She would have wasted three of her stuff just trying to follow me, but I used the smart. So that's why, you know what I'm saying, I got away. So basically for the last step, just know how to engage and I'll gauge your fight. I'm going to just be talking. I'm not going to really show you guys too much. Y'all can get confused. I know y'all y'all So basically, so what y'all want to do is if they're low, you can go in if you would like to. But at the same time, it's very dangerous to go low. I said, I said go low. It's very dangerous to, um, you know what I'm saying? Very dangerous to go a certain place. So basically, right, I'm just going to be talking for the rest of this segment. Um, If I show y'all more, y'all probably going to get confused. Like, oh, you know, he just died or, oh, he, he's taking a lot of damage. What does he mean? This is just a showcase for y'all, okay? But basically, man, just know how to engage and outgage in a fight. If a whole team, if it's just you and a whole team, get, like, if you're healing and you already full, don't be scared. Don't hide in the bush. Push in that fight. Stand on business, bro, because if you don't, you're going to get them time to heal. You're going to get them time to run away, and that's just going to be bad in general. Do you know why it's going to be bad in general? Because they're going to just have to drop on you all the time now because they're fully healed. You got three quirks to worry about, and then you don't know your, how to use your character. So, in these three tips, know how to use skill cards, know how to use your characters, and know how to engage and engage in a fight. If the whole team is one tap or low, you can engage like that. But at the same time, if you're low, then don't engage. See this Bakio right here, right? He's going to jump back up. The old rock is low as well. I'm going to just do this. Okay, that didn't hit. Just do that again, and then boom. The old rock is low, he's low, right? But I'm low too. So if I have heals, I'll take my heals right now. The bot, I mean, the Deku's probably gonna try to res them, but instead, you know, he's not because it's a bot. But yeah, so for Deku, look, we're training, we're training shots right now, right? Look at this, look at this, we're training shots. So basically, right? So the Deku, he is basically just one of his team back up. He's trying to, like, you know what I'm saying, just get the drop on me. He's trying to just, like, you know, attack me and everything like that. But moral of the story is just know how to use your character. Know how to engage and outgage your fights, like I said once before. And also pick up skill cards. Do not just leave. I see a lot of y'all videos and, like, a lot of y'all gameplay. Y'all open a chest and y'all won't, like, get a lot of skill cards. Just be like, oh, I'm using Momo, right? She's support. So I'm going to only pick up a support card. No. If you have a movement card, pick that up. Don't let the enemy or don't let anybody else steal any cards for me you want to stack loot you want to be hungry bro like if i see all this loot right here it doesn't matter if i'm only a rocker i'm picking up all three of the, i'm picking up everything over here do you know why because in certain situations i'm not gonna be able to heal up so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pop my heal card in certain situations i'm not gonna be able to like run up walls i'm not gonna be able to like put in a lot of attack damage because my level of my quirk so boom i'm increase my attack on my a damage but basically y'all get the gist of you know what i'm saying if you got more attack boost you could do more damage you know what i'm saying if you have a movement card if it's a certain character that you're not familiar familiar with or you don't know how to like you know do good movement on the character with utilize the movement card as much as you can if it's a character that has low health like dobby or maybe somebody else utilize that defense card like crazy because you're going to want to take the least amount of damage as possible especially if you're like hard hitting characters like kirishima bakugo deku todoroki that can freeze you everything like that so i hope this helped with y'all man remember the top three things is know how to engage and outgage in fights if you're low and the team is low as well you could take that 50 50 but know that you're going to get 
out that fight. Don't go in thinking, oh, I'm going to win this. I mean, you can go and think about that, of course, because, you know, you can be him. But don't go in thinking, oh, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? They're all low, but I'm only at 287 HP. So they're on top of this. So I'm going to just do this, right? I'm going to just go on top of here. I'm gonna, no, because then you're going to get smacked. You're going to get shot. You got, you're going to, no, it's not going to work. So, yeah, moral of the story is just know how to play the character. Know how to engage and outgage your fights. I mean, I said engage and outgage. I mean, yeah, I guess it's called the outgage. But, yeah, engage in fights. Know how to not engage in fights. And then on top of that, know your character. Please know your character.